All right, today I'm going to do something a little different. I'm going to throw a pot, and then we're going to do some experiments with a flame. It doesn't really matter what this looks like, just something, and we're going to put some fire to it and see what happens. So what I want to do, you've seen me in the past, you may do it yourself, you'll have a really soft clay or you want to put a sodium silicate uh, cover on it or what have you, and you'll take a propane torch and you'll hit it to help it kind of dry out. The propane torch is fine, but the other day I got out an oxyacetylene torch to cut some steel and found myself wondering what would happen if I used an oxyacetylene torch on this. And interestingly, this is a cone 5 clay, so uh, firing temperature is, look it up, 2300, 2200, something like that, over 2000 degrees. But oxyacetylene torches burn at like 6000 degrees Fahrenheit, over 3000 Celsius. Uh, hot enough to not only vitrify the clay, but even to uh, melt fully fired ceramic, which is pretty impressive. So I wanted to see if I took an oxyacetylene cutting torch and I ran it against this clay, what's going to happen? I'm going to put on a welding helmet, I'm going to put on some gloves, uh, perhaps it explodes, or cracks, or I'm not sure what, but let me get some welding gloves and I'll put on a helmet, and let's see what happens when we put a 6,000 degree oxyacetylene flame to this. Okay, I put on a heavier jacket, using a welding helmet, That is interesting. I could keep going. It's making some crackling noises. I hope you can hear that. Now you can see I didn't really care what the shape was. I just wanted it high enough so I didn't melt my fat. Interesting. It is at least very dry. I really don't want to touch it. Interesting. <laughs> I did not expect that. I kind of expect that it was going to crack or something, but it legitimately is cooking the cooking it off, and all this powder is coming off. Interesting. It's eating away the clay. It must be sputtering off in tiny little bits. I don't. I did not expect it to hollow like that. Oh, weird. Well, I clearly burned through the ceramic. It is all over me. Interesting. I do not know what's happening. Hmm. All right. Well, I'm going to let that cool down. And then we're going to put this in the water. We're going to see, does this whole thing dissolve or do I get anything that doesn't? Perhaps this dust is vitrified. I'm not sure. It's hard to tell. All right, so I threw it in this water and it's been soaking. And you tell me what that is, kind of lumpy. We're gonna reach in here in a second, but I'm hoping you can see that texture because it is stratified. It definitely had some portions that melted right away. Um, the whole thing, I didn't, didn't touch it, so it all fell apart on its own, but it is stratified with these kind of bigger chunks up top. So let's reach in here and see if I can get some out. Well, the whole thing feels soft to me. I don't feel... No, I don't feel the slightest bit of grit. I was really thinking at minimum it would be kind of a sandy texture, but... No. So... Alright, well I've taken this outside. A little safer. Have some thick steel. A little test jug from 2020 but it is fully fired. So let's put a torch to this and see. Theoretically, I should be able to melt ceramic with this. So let's find out what happens. Wow, 
out. Can you believe it? It's actually melting. I did not think that was possible. Kind of can't believe it worked. All right. So I want to take another shot at uh, melting a piece of ceramic with a torch. And I hate this plate. We'll see what happens. Well, the camera had a funny lens over it we were trying out and so you did not see it explode, but I just hit the plate in the center with the torch. I should have known better and we were having way better results going on the edge because uh, we had less st stuff to kind of explode off the side. So I picked up some, some new test pieces. I think smaller will be better. Let's see if we can melt the edges or melt a hole in them and uh, let me clean this up and we'll try again all right first victim and i'm gonna try to just go at the edge because i think that's the best chance for survival on the pot and then maybe we could try kind of here too but i want to try see if i can melt the edge just at all and make it survive cracked for sure but it is almost close to surviving we won't really tell until we clean it up but okay let's try another one here's the next victim and on this one I'm gonna try down here in the non glazed area we'll see if we can get some heat I don't know if that'll make the bottom explode off if it's more likely to break but let's just try something different this time that is really cool I was actually able to push it around with the flame once it got molten I could kind of dig under and actually move the clay around that works surprisingly good okay so I wanted to take a closer look before we try on another one I've never really thought of clay being like glass but it certainly feels like glass and yeah we got some cracks but I think that is really interesting Well, I didn't expect that. I thought I was doing really good. I got it all the way through, but I did not expect it to actually bust the face off like that. So, now what I'm wondering is what if I had filled this with sand? If I filled the little bottle with sand and I tried to cook a hole right through it with a torch, what would happen? Would the sand pour out? Would it kind of self-seal like glass? All right, so here's the last test bottle. I have it right to the top with sand. And I'm going to do the same thing. I want to pick a spot, see if I can bore a hole with a torch, and will the sand pour out? Um, I don't think the sand will explode out the top, but I, I am curious whether or not I can get the sand to melt and self-seal, or I don't know what's going to happen. But Well, we won't know for sure until we dump it out. We'll get a sense of that. But I think that we're actually digging into sand at this point. So, there's some crackage, but that wasn't so bad. I'm gonna let that cool down and uh, then we'll see what happened. Overall, this is a really fun experiment. Now, I didn't, as it turns out, I did not get into sand. Um, I did try to look on the inside and uh, for whatever reason it did not go all the way through but I still find that to be kind of an amazing thing just never seen that before 
and even though it's destroying these pots I I need to figure out some sort of way to use that on a piece and I mean, that is just too good to not use in some way so I'm really interested to hear if any of you have a, an idea of how that could be used or if you've actually done something like that yourself I think that's really fun